Hey everyone, Chris from Computer Stuff here. Wanted to talk really quickly about something called the Grafton Pen. It is by a company called uh, Every, what is it? It's come from a company called Everyman. There it is, forgot the name. Um, I'm, a big, I'm big about EDC, everyday carry on this channel. You know, we review bags and kind of other junk like that. So I thought I would take an opportunity to review this pen. Uh, suffice to say, I want to start off by saying I don't, I don't care for this pen and I don't recommend it. Uh, I don't want to be too disparaging to the company because their customer service has been, has been very good. Uh, but, you know, a pen is meant to write well and I just don't really feel like this thing cuts it. And uh, I'll go ahead and dive deeper into why that is. All right, first and foremost, this is one of their limited edition colors called the Taipan Orange. If you like orange, you'll love this color. Uh, you know, it's basically just a shiny metallic orange. It's definitely striking in appearance. Let's go over some of the details of the Grafton pen in general. Clicky top. It's got a good firm click. It feels, frankly, in fact, it feels better than the space pens. Uh, I was a big, big space pen user and uh, proponent there for a while until I lost it. But anyway, comes the two clip that has the two uh, uh, screws in it so you can replace it if it breaks. Uh, kind of like that. Uh, I know some people have, have issues where I guess they feel like the screws can come loose, but there's a little bit of adhesive in there. And not to mention the fact you can use some Loctite, so that really won't be a problem. The pen screws from the bottom here, they do a good job of making that look pretty seamless. And overall, the materials of the pen are, are very good. This comes with their Everyman cartridge. That's problem number one. Their Everyman ink is is just awful especially if you're coming from space ink or g2s something like that you will find that the writing capabilities of their ink cartridges just kind of stink um so you know he'll write you know hello i don't know i don't even know if i can really show this on camera that well but like their ink has it's it creates these let me see if i can just punch this in creates these fixed spots very easily. It smears very easily, so if you're left-handed, you forget it. But also there are certain angles where it just won't write. And I, I'm not really being able to, I can't really represent that too well on camera, I suppose, but this Porsche pen, for example, has a G2 ink in there and it is just, it's vastly superior. It's, it's much smoother, feels better, writes at pretty much every angle. Oh no, that, didn't, that wasn't a good example there. But, uh, um, th their ink just, it feels kind of rough, just doesn't feel really good. Uh, I've had a lot of trouble writing with their inks. What don't I like about the pen? Don't like their cartridge. That's an easy resolution though. Obviously you just replace it with a G2 or a, a what's it called? A, a, a space pen ink. I need to open this damn thing up. There we go. Porsche does not want you to open up their pen. Um, you know, the inks are backwards compatible. That stuff's pretty standard these days. Another thing I do not like about the pen, stuff that you can't change, for example. The weight in the hand feels pretty good. It's, it's you know, kind of a thick pen. That's all preference. And the weight, the weight is decent. These rings really cut into the finger and make it feel kind of uncomfortable to write with. If you're writing with this thing for long periods of time, uh, and I am not the only one who has had this complaint, uh, it just, these rings make it feel uncomfortable. They do not enhance your grip. They just cut into your finger and don't feel good uh, in the story. And then the final and biggest complaint that I have about the pen is that when you press down the head or, 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 or the, um, uh, the pen tip itself kind of wiggles a little bit. And I really don't like the way that feels when you're writing with it. It, 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 it feels like it's not precise enough. So when you put the pen to paper, there's like a squishy feeling and it just makes for a uncomfortable, um, again, if you're really, you know, into calligraphy or something like that, it will, it'll just make all that really hard. It does, it just doesn't feel good when you're pressing down on the paper. This by contrast has a spring built in, which allows it to compress, but there's no actual wiggle on fr from the pen tip on the paper. So it feels very good to write with. Whereas this, there is no, there's no uh, compression spring, but it wiggles when you push tip to paper. So I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting the point across. It just doesn't feel good when writing. So uh, nice color options. They do the limited edition runs, which is kind of cool. Clip that is removable and addable if it breaks. That's a nice touch. 
things you don't like, uh, the ink that comes with it, the circles are hard in the hand, uh, hard on the finger rather, and the wiggle in the pen tip uh, are all deal breakers. Um, you know, Grafton pens are 39 bucks, a lot cheaper than the tactile turns, which we'll be doing a review on one of those here soon enough. Um, but as an everyday carry pen, I still think that you are better off going with either a Parker Jotter uh, space pen or something like that, or if you can afford it, the tactile turns. So uh, Grafton Pen, their customer service is very, very good though, and they seem to be a decent company all in all. So uh, show them some support if you really want to get one of these pens. I'm not poo-pooing it. A lot of this stuff is definitely, um, you know, definitely preference, but that was just my experience and very quick review of the Grafton Pen. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with another video soon.